This is DC Danton Crow Crusader. There's a huge number of seagulls here. <laughs> it's getting larger every day. And I don't see our crows. There's just no crows around. It's just really, really strange. There are some here up on the tree. I don't know if you can see that or not. That's it. What? A 10? 10 crows? 15 crows? Amazing. Um, I don't know what to say. Uh, that looks like a silver go up on the lamppost right there. Um, yeah, it was a tough day because I'm feeling very sick and I had to go all through that this afternoon. I mean, this morning. And by the way, my video was cut off before I could explain what he said. He started in with the, you know, the, the discrimination against, um, you know, against uh, Americans and uh, he called me a pig and I don't know, that sort of thing, whore. Uh, that's that's normally what they say here okay like dirty pig like drexel that's that sort of thing um i'm so used to that uh that's been going on for years i was called those names by the farmers and you would think you know farmers or could be more primitive and so forth and so on when they're dealing with livestock and yet these people are supposed to be so educated um, and, and like this, this is unbelievable, really unbelievable. So it seems like I've I lost my crows. It's really unbelievable. We have our seagulls here, mostly herring gulls, but you can hear a Seymour in the background. I'm afraid that Seymour. We got someone here taking a video. I don't know. Probably someone evil, right? I have to get him on video as well. I think he's getting me, so I have to get him. And uh, I'm not sure if he's a good guy and just likes the birds or he's one of the evil bird haters. But anyway, um, the fact that he happens to be here right at the time that I'm out here, that could very well, uh, that could very well be it. But I don't know for sure. I don't know for sure. Anyway, put this out. Um, not much cat food, because cats haven't left much. I don't see, I don't see uh, my crows. I'll keep this in my pocket. He's still watching, taking video, so it's been ridiculousness. That's what it is. Here's my guy here. Let's go down close and over here. That looks like that looks like uh, Seymour there. I always forget my bowl here. Obviously, we can't feed this amount of seagulls here. But it goes to show you that, uh, that they really are in need of food. That's what it says. Oh, that looks like Seymour got himself a ball there. You can't possibly feed this amount of birds. But they do get something to eat. Um, but I really fear for my crows because I have no idea what they're getting. And poor Charlie. I didn't get to finish my story about when on uh, Saturday when I dropped Brian off. Um, yeah, he's standing on Hayfully property. So he's... Uh, He's up to something no good. So anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, he must work for them or something. Yeah. He's somebody he's no good. But I got him on there too, so. Anyway, uh, 
I just wanted to tell you that uh, that when Bryant went over to watch for the bird, the anti-bird uh, noise-making machine, and to get the guy who was firing the uh, the uh, uh, air pellet rifle, um, of course he had the key. So when I shut off the engine, I couldn't come back there and pick him up. I could, but I was really too sick to, to, to take that kilometer and walk walk around here, um, around this building, and then around the corner to get to across the railroad tracks. It's just right across the railroad tracks. So I walked to the railroad tracks and screamed at Bryant, and then he, uh, and then he, uh, I, you know, he was going to throw the keys, but he can't do that. I can't, I'm not allowed to go on the railroad tracks and he can't do that. So I told him, ask, ask someone to give you a little ride because you're talking about one minute or not even a minute. You just go down the street and around the corner and have him drop off here at the shopping center, right? And uh, I could get out and walk the rest of the way. Do you know, he asked a half a dozen people, Bryant there with his poor cane, old man every car was empty right had only one person in it or two people in it maximum and not one person let him come in here's our charlie charlie come here come here charlie look at <laughs> look at charlie charlie's had enough come here charlie come here honey Come here. Charlie's had enough. He's had enough of the seagulls. There you go, honey. There's some sausage. There you go. Go ahead. I'm going to stay right here. Right here. No one's going to get you. Okay? No one's going to get you. Stay right here by Mama. Okay? Come here, Charlie. Come here, Charlie. Come, Charlie. Go ahead. Get some more. There you go. Okay. There we go. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Come on, you guys. Come on off the street. Come on. Anyway, what do you think of that in a town like this? I mean, this is not a huge city. There's 18,000 people here. And you know what? You can't go drive or walk here without seeing several people that you know. You just can't. So there's our little crows. But it's just unbelievable, right? It's just unbelievable. Um, that nobody would give this old, broken down man who can barely walk, dialysis patient, a ride here, a one minute ride around the corner. By the way, every person you watch him go out of the parking lot went this way, right past the shopping center. Can you believe that? And this is not a high crime area. 